Factsverse presents… This woman wore mascara to bed every night for 25 years, and what her doctors found under her eyelids was shocking. Ah yes, another reason to be happy that I'm a guy. Hey, before we get into this video, help us spread the word about Factsverse by clicking that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. And if you're a woman and you wear mascara to bed, you'd better keep watching. Many women wear makeup. It can help hide flaws, and it brings out your eyes and your cheekbones, and it can make your naturally short lashes look long and thick. And hey, this is YouTube, so we see a lot of guys wearing makeup as well. But we'll stick with the women for now. Most of them take off their makeup at night before bed, but at one point or another you've probably all worn makeup to bed, right? Some women fall asleep with their makeup on, and some are just too tired to take it off at the end of the day. There are some women who just can't be bothered to take off their makeup at all, and that is a huge mistake. Teresa Lynch started wearing makeup in her teens. When she was 25 years old, she was wearing mascara every day, but she stopped taking it off before bed. She would often wear waterproof mascara, which meant that even when she splashed water on her face or if she ended up crying during the day for some reason, the mascara remained on her eyes. It wasn't until decades later that she realized what a huge mistake she was making that entire time. Teresa started experiencing issues with her eyes. She felt as though there was something in her eye and it was starting to become a problem. Like most people, she went online to check her symptoms first and during an online search she discovered her problem could have been something in her eye, or it could have been dry eye syndrome. Since age is a factor in dry eye, and one of the symptoms is a sensation that something is in your eye, Teresa was sure that dry eye was probably the issue. She decided to make an appointment with her eye doctor, though, to get a treatment for the condition. What the eye doctor told her, though, was horrifying. Teresa's eye doctor examined her eyes, and during the examination he asked her if she wore mascara. When she told him that yes, she did, every day, he asked her how often she would take it off before going to bed. Teresa was a bit embarrassed to admit it, but she told the doctor that for the past 25 years she never washed the makeup off her eyes. Teresa's eye doctor was shocked when he looked under her eyelid, and it was time to let Teresa know why she felt like she had something in her eye. The eye doctor told Teresa that the mascara buildup in her eye had become calcified lumps over time. He told her that this concrete became embedded in her conjunctiva and went deeper into a subconjunctival layer. When the doctor flipped her eyelid, it looked like she had a tattoo. Unfortunately, unlike a tattoo, the concretions that became embedded in her eyes were rough since they were under her lids, they were literally scraping the cornea of her eye each time she closed her eyes or blinked. As if learning that her eyes were being scraped when she opened and closed her eyes wasn't enough, she also learned that she had follicular conjunctivitis. It's a bacterial infection that occurs on the follicles in the conjunctiva. Sadly, her problems didn't end there. The doctor told Teresa that her problem was a permanent one. The constant scraping on her eye caused permanent scarring on the surface of her eye. To keep the problem from getting worse, the doctors had to act fast. A relatively invasive surgery would be necessary to get her eyes back into good shape. The surgery took 90 minutes, and during this time the large lumps under her eyelids had to be removed. They were embedded very deeply into the area, and they were building up on top of one another. Her eyes were in really bad shape, and the doctor told Teresa that it would take a while before they healed and her symptoms would subside. After the procedure, Teresa's doctor talked to her about the dangers of wearing mascara and never washing it off. She was told that carbon black or iron oxide pigment are used to darken the eyes, and that can be dangerous when left on for too long. Mascara also contains a polymer to form a film that coats the lashes, and it's a toxic agent. The pain and discomfort that Teresa experienced taught her a harsh lesson. It was months before her eyes were healed enough to be able to wear eye makeup again. When she was finally ready to wear makeup again, she made sure to remove it every night before going to bed. She also took to social media to warn other women about the hazards of going to sleep with makeup on. A condition like Teresa's won't occur if you forget to take your makeup off just one night but it is essential that you try and remember to remove your makeup completely before you go to bed. The last thing you want 
is issues like the ones that Teresa suffered from. Subscribe for more!